Well, it has some important modifiers, and the stuff we make is fractal. The stuff everybody else makes is not fractal. But the stuff we make and a lot of other people make is graphene. But it's not single-layer graphene. It's multi-layer graphene. The stuff that was extracted by Gaiman Osobolov with scotch tape was single-layer graphene. Okay. Other people have made single-layer graphene with things like chemical vapor deposition methods and things. And that was kind of the, the context in 07, 08, when I'm thinking about what to do with regard to publishing or, or filing for a patent. I even had one guy come in from industry and said I wasn't making graphene. And from his point of view, he was correct. But now the general idea of graphene-type materials is well beyond a single layer. So multi-layer graphene is a term, and it means you've got a lot of graphene layers, which is one layer, stuck together in a multi-layer framework and far enough apart that they almost act as if they're independent and almost as if they're single layer, not quite, and that not quite is important. A term that's applied to these graphene layers that are interacting but is not, a, not as strongly as when you're in graphite is turbostratic. So a lot of us producers these days make turbostratic multi-layer graphene. Nobody else makes fractal aggregate turbostratic graphene except us, at least nobody that I know of.